to have another schooling with Suzanne. And it's going to definitely be. It seems like everyone wants to do art and learn about parts of the horse and all about horse care. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to look at markings on the horse. We're not going to get into hot and heavy like uh, the paint horses and the pinto calling, but we're going to do some basic stuff. And uh, we have some fun here. So I'm going to have some paint here. I have a couple of briar horses and uh, different things we can show you. So different markings are, um, let's look at the legs. And I'm going to do each leg. You can get this right off of Google, the different ones. And then we have face markings. And uh, let's have some fun. Okay, so let's take a look at this. This is, I have, I have briar. What's nice about briar horses, I don't want you guys painting up your briar horses. But it, what's nice about it, because it's plastic, anything I do with it, I can um, <laughs> and rinse it and wash it right off. So uh, this, this one happens to be Zenyatta's. Zenyatta the thoroughbred resource. This is this one according to Briar is Zenyatta's foal. And uh, I like this. I like this as a cute one. So let's look at the legs first. I'm gonna get this down in here. And then I have a photo too. So it's just my little towel here. So let's let's take a look at Zenyatta and let's look look at the different parts and then we'll draw it on. Get into the parts. This goes along with your art. And of course, it's equine science. So we're going to match up Miss Zenyatta's foal here, and we're going to paint some. So let's look at the first one, which is the coronet. And if it has a little bit on the coronet, you would. Should we do her back foot? Let's do her back. Foot. Let's do. Let's do this foot here because it's the closest to me. And. So if it's a white marking, it's just called white on the coronet. As I'm doing this, um, the racehorses, such as the thoroughbreds or the standardbreds, I even know from my own standardbred, any kind of markings they have is in their registration papers. So it actually states uh, two back white feet, left has uh, fetlock white, and pastern, so you will see that and need to know your markings. Look, look at the pastern. I only have to do this one because this one that's on her briar horse is a pastern. And you can see it comes right up, um, right there on that pastern before it goes up. Um, technically, let's look at it good. If it was even up to here, it would still be pastern because it's keeping there. Okay, so that's your pastern right there. Um, ankle. Ankle. Let me turn her around. Ankle, you can see it's also called a fetlock marking. It would go all the way. Set this right. I don't like looking through the phone doing it because I mess up. There we go. This is your fetlock or your ankle marking. And you can see it's right over what you know we call the ankle. I'm just painting it on up just to show you guys. This is something you could do, um, my 4 H kids. This is something you could do for your 4 H presentations. I just, I just realized it wasn't on there, and you're looking at a dish towel. <laughs> it moves. This is something you, you all could do for your presentations that you need to do. Instead of just a, a board, you could do something like this. Obviously, it's going to go all the way around, but I'm not going to. Okay, and there's your ankle, which is your fetlock. Then we have the half stocking. I have one here, but I'm not going to say the half stocking. Is also called a sock. I call it more. Sorry about that, guys. I keep doing this. I'm dipping in and not really. And I call it the sock. And it's halfway up the bone. The paintbrush I'm using is when I paint very, very small little things. So that would be a sock or a stocking. 
when you're going to do some artwork, you have to look really, really close and use your math and decide how far up is it. I've got a really cool photo to show you guys later, the difference. Now, we have the stocking. I'm not going to paint her all the way up. So the stocking, of course, you can see would go all the way up. Behind, I was looking at my horse, Indy, today. And he, he is um, as a different one. His foot is just like this. He has a white just on the heel. I'll try to get a picture of him, but he also, it, kind, it comes around weird. It's like one of them is the heel and then there's nothing. And then he has half of it as a pastern. So his, he has it on his heel, but then It'll stop, and then it, it's on the opposite side, okay? And then it comes up, you know, like on the pastern a little bit. It, it looks weird because it's really, really thick. So he has like a variety of different markings. So, you know, you have to look and see what that horse has. All right, let's look at this guy here. He's cool. Okay, he definitely has some stockings. Um, yeah, definitely. You can really see it's like kind of really over his knee. But this is an idea of like a, of a stocking with a horse. Okay. All right. Let's look at the face markings. Look at them a little bit. I don't think I'm going to paint Mrs. Zinyat. I think we'll just do this roughly because then I want to give you a little tip. So let me put this paintbrush down. So we have the star. This is on the forehead. Some of them are very, very small with just a couple hairs. And then you have a large star. Some of you standard bred people know a horse named Sweet Lou. Sweet Lou is like, like this. He's huge blaze. It actually goes off to the side. And a lot of his, uh, he's, a, he's a stallion that is a, a breeding stallion now. And Sweet Lou's babies are all coming out either like this. Or they got the big star. So look up Sweet Lou, standard bred racer. Stand the bread stallion, and you'll see he's absolutely gorgeous. So there's your stars. Okay, and here's Mrs. Zenyatta here. She's got like a an average star, this baby here. Okay, then we can get into a stripe. It can be an interrupted stripe, which means it starts. You see, it's kind of long. Sometimes in the markings, um, I'm going to show you my horse, um, my horse I used to have. Sometimes if it's like this, and then it's got the line, it'll say a star and a stripe. Star and a stripe on the papers. But it is a stripe and it's interrupted. Then we have a large one. We have a, we have a few of them at the farm I'm at. We have a couple of chestnuts that um, have that. And then you have a direct stripe. It goes all the way down. Sometimes the stripes are only like so. It's still called a stripe. I only know that from the registration papers. And I'm going to show you one of the one I used to have. Here's your blaze. It's uh, interrupted. It is a blaze, but it's interrupted. Thick blaze. When you guys look up Sweet Lou, you'll see that he's got a big blaze. He's known for his big white blaze. And it's crooked. It's pretty cool. And there's your regular blaze. It's called the blaze. Snip. You look closely, you'll some have a snip. Some have an uncentered snip. It's not exactly in the middle. And then a large snip. Uh, you'll see a lot of, I see a lot of these. We have um, a really pretty uh, paint in my farm. Her name is Envy. Yes, Melissa, that's your horse. And Envy has a big, bold face. She's pretty cool because even, she's not like this. But she has a blue, and then she has the brown eye. Look up Native American medicine cap. Medicine hat, I'm sorry, medicine hat. And in the in Native American world, it's a specific one. If it's like this, and it looks like a medicine hat. It is supposed to be good luck, and usually the chief rides that horse. Pretty cool, look that up. We have a bald face that's not over the eyes. It's all bald in here knows how high now it has to be really up high this guy here even though the white is here 
All right, he comes down really, really low and then splits off. A little different. A little different. He's more like a thick blaze because it comes down. But different people could look at it. So your bald face, not over the eyes, would be, again, a lot higher. And then it splits off. Okay. What else do I got here? Um, some uh, Probably on paint horses we see this. It's called the badger. Badger thin and a reverse badger. It would be more for your pinto coloring. Your shinkatig ponies, a lot of them are pinto colored. Your Mustangs, your paints, of course. Now, I have one here I'm gonna show you. Star and a stripe. And you can see it starts as a star and then it goes down into a stripe. This is a strip stripe, well, it's supposed to be stripe. So here we have I a, a, a stripe and a snip. Then we have a star and a snip. So, I'm going to show you this. And this is this. This was my horse, Mister. Yeah, that's me. Okay. This is my horse, Mister. I'm going to try not to glare. It's coming from outside. Let me move him up a little bit. Oh, that's a little better. So, let's take a look at my horse, Mister. Um, he's got some interesting markings. He he was a standard bred. And on his registration papers, it says, "Yeah, his 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 face is me making a goofy face." His registration papers say a star, a stripe, and a snip. And that's just what it looks like. His face is up a little bit, so that little snip looks a little bigger. But his registration papers, you can see he's got all three. Look at his feet. Let's look at this first one here. I'm holding this up so I can't point. His first one that's forward, that is really almost like a coronet right it's close to a pastern you don't know how fuzzy it is so he's got a funky one there this one here that's that would be his right forward that's a little bit of a mix too right guys if you look at it it's definitely a fetlock it's on the ankle in the front and then towards the back it goes up and looks almost like a sock his rear ones are definitely, tell me, okay, think about it. I want you to take a look at his rear ones and think about it with the measurements. I know he's got some little dots there. That is a sock. Sometimes in the registration papers, it'll if they have little brown dots, um, it'll actually say on those registration papers. Get into colors. Let's look at Mr. While we got him here, he is definitely a bay because he's got the black points while we're on here. He has the, the black legs, even though his back ones are pretty much covered. The black points mean his muzzle and his mane and all that. So go keep this nice and short, okay, have fun. It'll really help you when you paint. And if you're going to paint, let's say you're gonna paint Miss, little Miss Zenyatta's baby here, cool that in. You've gotta actually look at the size of it and then when you paint, you want to look up how it goes up a little bit if you want to really get that detail. This guy's adorable, isn't he? Yeah. There you go. And there's your big draft horse. And it actually comes around. All right. I want you to look up Shinkatik Pony Riptide. Riptide. Shinkatik Pony. Look him up. He has a marking that goes the same way. And some of his... Uh, Babies who are now like four and five have the same marking. Okay. All right. Have a great time and uh, we'll do something next week.